Hello everybody, here are the top three tips for incoming college students. Some of these tips you may have heard before, but my goal is to hopefully give you a new perspective on these tips that you might hear throughout all these college videos. So here we go. Number one is to prioritize the first week to first month of college. The reason this is so important is because everyone that's new to college and even returning college people are eager to meet the incoming students or the incoming students are eager to meet other incoming students. And once everyone has their friends after like the first month or two, then friends are set usually for the most part. and it's hard to make new ones all of a sudden. And so because everyone is eager to make new friends, you need to go, go, go and try to meet as many people as you can and kind of network. And when I say network, I don't mean like business networking, not like professional connections, but literally just expanding your social network, literally just meeting new faces every single day. The key to this though is always have an open mind and present the best version of yourself. If you think about it, when you come to college, you basically get a clean slate and things from your past don't have to translate into college as much. So if you had a rough past in high school, school, hopefully that won't follow you to college and you can kind of start this and build a new version of yourself in a way. Again, college is all about establishing your values and who you are as a person. I think that's one of the most important things to get started on in your first year of college. Also within the first month of college, it's really important to join at least one club, one organization that gets you integrated within a certain community. I'm not going to go too deep into this because it's kind of self-explanatory, but even joining something like an intramural, I know I'm the type of person that it's hard to make friends unless I'm in a community or an activity that has those people in it. And a big thing with this whole building connections thing, I mentioned it earlier, but is keeping an open mind. You're going to be meeting so many people from so many different places. So keeping an open mind is really important when meeting people from different backgrounds, because you never know who might actually be your friend. You might be used to interacting with a certain type of person and becoming their friend, but then you find someone else who's different, but you just click with them better. Tip number two is finding balance. I know I probably sound like your mom or dad that's like, do everything in moderation, find a balance in college. And as cliche as it sounds, I feel like this is one of the most important things to have in college. This responsibility of finding balance really falls on you. And the most important thing with this is to really set boundaries for yourself. And it can go both ways. There's the very simple example of should I go out or should I study? Which one should I prioritize? And honestly, you just have to be the judge for yourself and really have the maturity to realize what's best for you in the moment. Something that helps with this too, at least for me, even though I'm not too much of a scheduling person, is to schedule everything every single hour of the day. And I'm kind of exaggerating, but also not really. If you're not too much of a scheduling person, try to plan larger blocks of time throughout the day that you have. And this concept of finding balance is just super, super broad. But I think something that is easy to distinguish it between is fun and work. Fun doesn't have to be going out and hanging out with friends. Fun can literally be like listening to music in your room alone and just having that alone time for yourself. But I promise you, if you don't have some type of balance or understand yourself and your priorities as a person, if you need to actually like even make like a list, make a priority list if you need to. But if you don't understand yourself as a person and what you want to prioritize in college, then things can go off the rails really quickly. And that's speaking from personal experience of people I know. Number three is I think the most important one. And that is that it's okay to have a rough start. And when I say rough start, I mean like the whole year. If the whole year is terrible, it's okay. And to some of you guys, this might seem like, oh, he's, he's being too soft. The whole year is a whole lot of time. How have you like done nothing in that time? But for me and for a lot of people, you have to understand that making friends and building relationships doesn't happen overnight. And it takes a really, really long time, especially if you click with certain type of people and you're really trying to make that deep relationship. For one, I think it's normal to stay connected with high school friends in the start and still feel tied to them. I don't think that's an embarrassing or bad thing. Like I said, building relationships can take a lot of time. And I'd say after a semester or a year that you have one to two to three just really solid, good friends, I'd say that's a success in the book and you should feel okay. One really big thing with this one is to embrace growth mindset. I know it's super cliche and our teachers always said, oh, embrace growth mindset or whatever like, but truly in college, I think it's really important. Put yourself out there and learn from every single experience that you have. Focus on the long-term growth for yourself instead of immediate perfection. And sometimes the smallest of moments in college can be most rewarding, whether it be just even getting ice cream by yourself on like a Friday night, if you like don't have a friend to go with or something and just enjoying the ice cream by yourself. And this is just from my perspective of seeing that everyone is a different person. Everyone has their own likes and dislikes. Everyone has their own quirks and random stuff. So college can really be taken at everyone's own pace. And when I say comparison is a thief of joy, when people say that, it's for the most part pretty true. The reason college is so special for me is because college is a unique opportunity to grow as a person without any like external influences from home or anything like that. I think it's important to make the most 
most of your time, whether it be getting yourself away from social media, staying in the present, and just trying to enjoy every moment you have in college. I know people say it's about the journey and not the destination, but for college, that really is true. And this perspective I want to give you is that when you ask your friends, how was your first semester of college? And they say, good. You, you, you have to understand that they're just seeing like the big picture, like the good moments usually stand out. And even on Instagram and things like that, you can see people just posting their highlights and not really posting the bad things, which is completely normal, by the way. I mean, Instagram is kind of made for that sort of online portfolio in a sense. But what I'm really trying to get at is the fact that college day by day is really what you make of it. You have control of what you do in college and the experiences you have. And I know I probably sound like David Goggins at this point, but if there's really three things I want you to take away from this video, it would have to be keep an open mind, step out of your comfort zone, and you can make like this immeasurable goal. Like if you want to try to step out of your comfort zone like once a week, you go for it. And then my final one, college is what you make of it. You have complete control over what you do in college. So I really hope that you guys enjoy your first year of college. If you're an incoming student watching this and if you're not, hey, welcome. But I'm really curious to see what y'all's perspective is in the comments below and leave any advice that you have for incoming students. Shout out to this, shout out to my Eevee shirt right here. Um, leave a like if you like the Eevee shirt. I'll see you guys in the next video, maybe. See ya.